This is part of our long-term program to restore lake sturgeon to the Tennessee River. So today we had 36 fish that we were releasing. They were all six to seven years old, which means that they weighed anywhere from 13 to 18 pounds. So they were getting pretty big and heavy towards the end to carry down here. We've restored over 108,000 uh, lake sturgeon to Tennessee's waters. And the majority of those, 95,000, have been here in the Tennessee River, anywhere between Chattanooga and Knoxville. And then the remainder, we've actually started up a new program with TWRA to restore lake sturgeon to the Cumberland River around Nashville as well. I just knew we were going to watch them released and it was really cool to get the opportunity to release them. Well today was a lot of fun because we had a lot of students that actually were at the aquarium first for Dr. McKinney's lecture about the Gulf of Mexico and why it matters and so we were able to bring them immediately afterwards here to see a sturgeon release for Earth Day and so they got to hear about some of the problems that are um, happening in the Gulf of Mexico but then they got to immediately come outside and make a difference. I just realized that what we do to the water affects how we live and how the fish live in our ecosystems. It's important to keep it clean, keep bottles and waste materials out. Yeah, of course, fresh, clean water is important for everybody. If you look at it from a fish and animal point of view, uh, we've got more fish now than we've ever had uh, in our water. We've had a lot of fish that are coming back that we, that we didn't have, may have gone extinct, like the lake sturgeon in Tennessee and, and several other species that we're also reintroducing. It's just good for folks, too, to have good, clean drinking water. And I think that's what really improved the mood here, is a lot of people were hands-on helping the environment and helping us restore Lake Sturgeon.